hello guys so today i'm going to show you how to run different forms in one panel so what i have here i've already inserted three buttons this button would be for form 2 which this button will show form 3 and this button will show form 4 okay so we already have uh, added a form so we have form 2 form 3 and form 4 so basically our main form would be form 1 and this is my panel i've already included pa the panel also on form 1 so what would it do is that when you click this button show form 2 so it will basically display the form 2 inside this panel okay and likewise with this button so when you click this so form 2 will be shown here and then uh, when you click for show form 4 so the the form 4 will be displayed in this panel so all of these um, forms will be displayed on the single panel okay I have also made a video like this um, but uh, it's on Visual Basic so for now we'll be doing this in Visual C Sharp I uh, put a link on the description below so if you ever wanted to check it out so you may uh, do click it that's all uh, that's for Visual Basic okay. so without further ado so let's get started so actually I'm going to show you two ways to run the form on this panel the first way is a code for beginners okay so how do we do the code so let's say first we double click this button to actually name this button btn form 2 okay okay so the first code that we're going to write is we're going to clear first everything that's inside the panel so the name of the panel is panel 1 that controls that clear okay so basically what it does is that uh, before showing the form form 2 it clears out everything what's inside the panel so that form 2 will just be displayed only on the panel okay and the next thing we're going to do is we need to instantiate an object of form 2 so how do we create or instantiate an object? So we write down first the name of the form, form2, and then we create an object name. So an object name could be, okay, frm2 equals new form2. Open and close parentheses and enter. Okay, so we now have created an object. Of form 2 then we need to set the top level to false okay and then we need to add this form to the panel so how do we do that so we type the panel name panel 1 that controls that add okay so we're going to add frm2 this is the object of the form 2 okay and then after that you can now show the form frm2 that show so it will basically show the form to inside the panel okay so let's try running the program okay so when i click form 2 so it displays inside the panel so this is form 2 okay so i have already inserted the label on each of the forms so that there would be distinction on uh, each of those form okay so 
So basically, the code for to show on showing form three would be the same on showing form two. Okay. So what we're going to do here is this: we're going to copy and paste. We're going to copy this and then paste it here. Then all we have to do is just we need to rename this form. So this is actually form three. And an object of this is FRM three. So this is form three. Okay, FRM three. Then FRM three. FRM three. Okay. And let's double click BTN form four. So let's just paste it and then Rename the form, this is form 4, FRM4, form 4, FRM4. Okay. That's it. So let's run this form. So when I click form, show form 2, it will show form 2. When I click show form 3 it will show form 3 okay you look at the title bar it is form 3 then click show form 4 so this is form 4 okay so how do we sh how do we uh, make it sure that this is the form 4 so let's look at the title bar so this is form 4 and the label okay so that's it that's how we run different forms in one panel. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is the other way on how are we going to show those forms in this panel. So let's copy first this buttons. Let's duplicate it to so copy then paste. Okay, so in this buttons, so this is where I'm going to write that alternative code. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a function. So what the code that is written in each of these buttons, we're going to translate this into a function. So when this already function, all you have to do is just we're just going just going to call those functions on each of the buttons. Okay, so let's try. Let's uh, double click the form. Okay, and then let's create a function. So let's name the function uh, show this form. Okay. So how do we declare functions? Say public void um, let's name it as show this form. Okay, and then let's declare a parameter to this so that when we uh, call these functions we're going to pass a uh, an argument which is the form itself. Okay, so let's Create an object. Let's name this object as form. Okay. And then uh, the first thing first, again, we'll have to clear what's inside the panel. Clear controls that clear. Okay. And then we type form frm equals to form as form. Okay, so what is this? So this is this means that when we call this function, the the object form that was passed from here. Okay, so we're going to assign this to a new 
object which is named f or m so the form as form is now a new object named f or m okay and then again f or m that we're going to set the top level equals to false okay and then we add the form to the panel panel one that controls that add and the object name frm Okay, then what's new with this is we're going to have a tag for the form and then we're going to show the form. Now we already have a uh, function. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to call this function on the button. Okay, so let's say let's double click this button. Okay. So this is button three. Okay. okay, so how do we um, call the function? Okay. So all we have to do is just type the name of the function. So the name is show this form. Okay. And then we'll have to make an argument to this. We already have uh, created a parameter. So the argument so we're going to pass a new object of this form. Actually we'll put in to display form two. So this is form two. Okay. So let's add up nothing close parentheses. There. Then let's copy this one. Let's double click this button. And button two will actually display form three. So it will pass the parameter. Then this will display form four. Okay. So what happens here is when we call the function, it will pass this argument to this parameter here on this object form, and then this form here, this form that was passed here, will be instantiated to another object which is named as frm and then this frm um, is the new object name and we have set it as false and add it on the panel and then a tag and then we show the form okay so let's try so we click this one so it shows form 2 it shows form 3 and this shows form 4 okay so that's it so i think the code is much more shorter now the code are a little bit uh, shorter because the full code was written in the the function and all you have to do is just call the function okay so we can now eliminate all of these codes. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you very much. I hope you have understand this lesson.